Day 37. Workers from the Israel Electric Corporation were wounded this morning in the anti-tank guided missile attack from Lebanon. They were close to Moshav Dovev, working to repair power lines damaged by previous fire from Lebanon in order to ensure electricity supply to the area. One person was injured critically and a number were wounded seriously. Rockets from Gaza today have mainly been directed at evacuated settlements close to the border. One thing that has distinguished this war from previous ones is the use of social media. When the internet was temporarily interrupted in Gaza last week, it made headlines around the world. News outlets have been relying on information sent to them in real time. The terrible events of October 7th were captured on hundreds of telephones. Some of the most gruesome images, taken from the telephones of both perpetrators and victims, were compiled into a 43-minute film which Israel showed three weeks ago to foreign journalists and one week ago to MKs. Film star Gal Gadot organised a screening in Los Angeles last Wednesday. A scandal arose last week when honest reporting suggested that some of the leading news services made use of photographers accompanying Hamas in their rampage of terror who had prior knowledge of what was to happen. Yesterday, honest reporting accepted denials from Reuters that any of the photographers were accomplices in the outrage. Recordings of telephone calls have been important in updating the public and decision makers. Recordings of the last phone calls of many of the, those slaughtered on October 7th have been played to the Israeli public. Israelis were horrified listening to a young man phone his mother in Gaza that day to tell her that he had just killed Jews with his own hands and to hear her response of thanking God. Another important conversation played to the public confirmed that Hamas has half a million litres of fuel under Shifa Hospital. Today, the IDF published recordings of calls between a senior officer in the Coordinator for Government Activities in the Territories, COGAT, and hospital staff at the Shifa, Rantisi and Nasser hospitals in northern Gaza, instructing them how to safely evacuate towards the southern part of the Strip. The instructions included anyone who wishes to move from the hospital and towards the hospital, al Wida Street, east of the hospital, is open. There are no Israeli forces on the eastern side of the hospital. Kogat says that 4,320 tonnes of humanitarian aid have entered the Gaza Strip since the beginning of the war, adding, there is no limit to the amount of food, water and medical equipment that can enter Gaza. We invite the international community to coordinate and we will facilitate. Israel has released evidence that Hamas has stockpiles of fuel and supplies that it is keeping from the civilian population. And while families are making use of photographs from happier days, both Hamas and Islamic Jihad have made propaganda videos showing some of the hostages they are holding in Gaza. This is Peter Jones-Pellach reporting for NCJWA Australia.